Welcome back to PAX Australia 2017. Now this is my kind of event. LN2 overclocking, performance matters. This is a world tour. Now this has ended up in Australia. And where do we start off? But first of all, I'm joined by Josh, my good friend. How are you doing, man? I'm doing bloody good, mate. How about yourself? Doing really well. It's the first event where I can come back, or well, the first uh, video I can do where I can kind of have a beer, relax, and do a bit of LN2 overclocking myself. And that's what it's all about, you know. Aussies have been the pioneers of liquid nitrogen in one hand and beer in the other and that's what we're all about especially for the team au boys and we've had 10 years of team au just smashing world records and we're here at the fourth stop for the hw bot world tour so it's been in las vegas it's been in taipei taiwan it's been in moscow russia and now here it is in melbourne australia that's right this melbourne is beautiful and behind me we've got a number the number one streamer in australia and she is streaming on an LN2 PC, like overclocked right now, 8700K, yeah? That's right, so we've got an 8700K overclocked to 6 gigahertz on 6 cores, 12 threads, smashing that out. We've got Matt, 0 plus 0, looking after the LN2, he's from Team AU, all the while we've got Loser Fruit just pumping out the content on Twitch, it's all happening, dude. So basically that means like if we can stream and play games while we're using LN2. I guess it's not that scary, right? People think LN2, we're just going for world records. It's going to just crash. It's not practical. But this is kind of bringing a practical sense to overclocking. But, I mean, LN2 is pretty dangerous. But, hey, you can still get massive performance. 6 gigahertz, 1.5 volt, too. That's right, that's right. So we're running 6 gigahertz, 1.5 volts, and yeah, it may be a little bit impractical. You've got to have a mate there to pour the pot and, you know, make sure you get the temperatures right. But... The cool thing is what we're doing, 6 gigahertz, si you know, 6 cores, 12 threads, it's just rad. Who's done this before? Exactly right. Not only that, I guess it maybe uh, promotes innovation too, right? Maybe, hey, we see what we're getting with this, maybe someone can bring a bridge in between, something that's more practical. I mean, phase is very loud, right? Yeah, but, right? So maybe someone can invent a cooler that does this and we can get that extra performance. We don't have to wait for these next generations of CPUs. Just Please give us something. We don't have to wait for that. Right, right. And that's the really cool thing about Sub-Zero is that we get to see performance levels that you may not actually see on air until another two or three years. So it's a really great uh, sort of indicator as to what the future holds. And as you said, phase change cooling, for those of you that don't know, it's sort of, you know, refrigeration tech and you're looking at about minus 35, minus 45 degrees constant. And I've been playing around with that for about last 15 years or so. And uh, yeah, you know, it, you can run 24-7 systems like that, but it's loud. Beautiful thing about liquid nitrogen, it's really cold and it's completely quiet. So here we are now at the Extreme Overclocking booth. They are breaking world records here. I got LN2 blowing in my face like the, that's not, that's just the cold air, isn't it? That's it, dude, that's it. So that's just cold air because LN2 evaporates so quickly. That's not actually LN2 vapor. That's the air condensing and making a whole lot of vapor in itself. Science. <laughs> so what world records do we have here on display? Alright, so the boys have been pushing through with the 8700K at 7.1 gigahertz. We've done 3D Mark 06 world record. They've just equaled the 3D Mark 05 world record and they're pushing through to take that number one spot. Oh damn, somebody save me now. Let me just get out of here, take that 8700K with me, the LN2 included, so I can start doing some extreme benchmarks myself. Absolutely, dude. I mean, who wants to take it home? We all do, right? <laughs> So we got uh, also the motherboard on display is the Aorus Z370. They're using G Skill memory too. And now this is the funny thing, right? They're using that Aorus Gravis card with the water resistance on it built in. So that's actually helping with their overclocking, right? Like so there's no moisture sure. blow. Sure, because condensation is a massive issue when you're dealing with liquid nitrogen overclock platforms and so we just want to keep it as dry as a bone so we can just keep smashing out the uh, results and we're dealing here with a special engineering sample of the SOC force overclocking motherboard so it's a first look it's a it's getting absolutely hammered and you know the boys are just tweaking it so that when it gets to you guys it's perfect wow so that is pretty amazing coming out here the uh, stream overclocker called high cookie 
Hi Cookie. That's correct. <laughs> the extreme overclocker called Hi Cookie is benchmarking at the moment. And he's from Taiwan. He's a really good overclocker, right? That's it. So Hi Cookie is uh, Gigabyte Aorus's in-house performance tuner. And he's teamed up here with James, aka Young Pro from Team AU. And they're enjoying some beers along with some liquid nitrogen and just developing a great time. Well, here we go, guys. I'm going to try a bit out myself, I think. Try a bit of this LN2 stuff out and we'll see how we go. So I just finished doing a bit of overclocking myself, keeping those temperatures between minus 130 to 135. That seems to be the sweet spot. But also we saw a world record broken again on 3D Mark 05. Those guys went crazy. They uh, celebrated with champagne. It was off the chain. I even got a demonstration of uh, how to pour liquid nitrogen on your hand. That's it, dude. And you know, there's all sorts of craziness going on here. We've got six gigahertz streaming PCs, 7.1 gigahertz world record runs. But what's really important is during packs, Joshi got a Yoshi. There we go, guys. Joshi got a Yoshi. But on a serious note, guys, this was just a lot of fun. One of the best events I've been to at a, a technology event. Hands down, I love the atmosphere here. I'm definitely going to be getting into a bit of more uh, extreme overclocking myself. Uh, and Josh is going to probably teach me how to do that. No doubt, dude. The Team AU boys are more than happy to step in, show you a bit of guidance. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, then you know what to do. Hit that like button. Drop a comment in the comment section below if you want to see some more extreme overclocking or more vlogs like this at the event. I absolutely love this event. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. And have a good time. Keep pushing the limits. Keep pushing the limits. Keep pushing the, Keep pushing the limits, man. Keep pushing the limits. Bye. I'm joined by Johnny. How are you doing, man? Very, very well, very well. Yeah, so he's a PUBG player, bro. And in 30 seconds, what do you think of tonight? Tonight is awesome. There's Alan 2, there's beer, there's streamers, there's games. It is going off. It's really cool. We're joined by Alex. How are you doing, man? Pretty good, man. Thank you. He is a custom case modder. He does some really good work. He's actually going to help me on an upcoming project, too. There's a little teaser. But what do you think about tonight, brother? Um, so yeah, I'm learning all sorts of things about overclocking. Like you know, there's not just about you know, pouring some LN2 over the CPU and you know just going with it. But it's like you know, maintaining that that you know sort of temperature, depending on what type of frequency you want to hit. So you know, you have to maintain it between a certain type of temperature. So yeah. So now we got Ross from uh, Gigabyte slash Aorus. He just looks like, wow, man, you're, you're repping hard there, dude. You're, walk, you're a walking advertisement. Yeah, definitely. You know, like, I just want to say this hoodie is, uh, it's got one on the left, one on the front, one on the back, one on the right. It's a uh, maximum sellout status hoodie. I'll hook you up with one, Brian. I'll get you some. Hey, man, I can't turn down a free hoodie, guys. <laughs> here I am joined by Blunty. How you doing? Not so bad, man. Enjoying myself here at the Intel event. Beer. Liquid nitrogen, nerd talk, what's not to love? I'm in my element. So now I'm joined here by James Extreme Overclocker. How are you doing? Hey, good, man. How are you? I'm good, brother. I saw that overclock before, the breaking those world records. That was some top-notch stuff. Yep. So we'd been working on that all day. That's, I don't know, 24 hours sort of work right there. So it just all sort of come together at the last minute. And yeah, so we took the 3D Mark 05 world record with... 7.1 gigahertz and 1.9 volts. There we go. They're, they're going to teach me how to do this stuff so I can get into it a little bit. I would never get near their level, but I definitely want to... Uh, maybe one day I could reach 7 gigahertz. You'll reach 7 gigahertz. Come in right now and we'll show you how it's done. All right, there we go, guys. I'm going in right now. But bringing a beer, maybe this could get dangerous. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks, brother. All right, no worries. Thanks, man.